Morning guys. Um, I just wanted to, uh, hair's doing a little something funky there. Um, I'm actually, I'm out in our second range, which is our unheated range, um, but I am uh, frantically working in our in our first range trying to get ready for the uh, tomatoes and um, cucumbers and peppers, etc. that are coming on Thursday from our propagator. Um, but I just wanted to, um, I was reading something um, and it put me in mind of something that I heard a long time ago and uh, the uh, the word that I was reading about was hormesis and and scientifically hormesis means what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and so what you know when your body gets stressed um, and your immune system is um, elevated that that's good for you in the short term because it makes your body um, do what it's supposed to do. So for instance, I heard this years and years and years ago and it, um, I remember back then thinking, what? Now I completely understand and I have for a while. When I've heard that, and I don't know, maybe you've heard this too, that don't worry about getting a cold because it may prevent you from getting cancer later. And getting a cold is hormesis. Your body is stressed, your immune system is heightened, and your immune system starts taking care of the things that are going on, right? We don't wanna have our immune system heightened in a chronic situation where we are constantly have an immune issue because that will cause more inflammation. It can cause autoimmune conditions. But in the short term, like having a cold for five days or seven days, it heightens your immune system and takes care of the things that are going on that shouldn't be going on. So um, what I was reading about was how plants go through hormesis as well, especially plants that are grown in an organic fashion, plants that are wild, eating wild blueberries, um, eating true organic um, food that, um, you know, may have had a grub chewing on it or may have had, um, you know, any kind of pest or, or cold cold time or anything like that and so what I wanted to talk to you about was this um, curly kale you can see it here I'll just take it out and um, I don't know if you can see the color but it's extremely dark red uh, just for comparison there's a, a green uh, dinosaur kale which also gets darker as well in the winter time but this red kale this red curly kale in the summer months um, has red veins but the the leaves are mostly green but in the winter time when it is under cold conditions which is hormesis it is having a shock having is having a stress to itself it gets a darker color and has a lot more polyphenols which are a lot more healthy for us so this is um, what I was reading about was that when we eat plants that have been stressed organic plants that have not been grown perfectly because when we grow and that's why i've always said that i don't want to grow our lettuce in um uh, perfect temperature uh hydroponic situation because what you end up getting is a watery leafy lettuce with no nutrition in it but when we have um you know we always have pests and bugs out here that are you know sometimes feeding on our crops and when those plants have that stress they put out their immune response that we can benefit from so what that is called scientifically is xenohormesis which is the transfer of those um, those stressors from the plant to us and I know that sounds counterintuitive we don't want to eat stressed and especially when it comes to meat we don't want to eat a cow that was stressed before it was killed or a pig that was stressed before it was killed but when it comes to plants these stressors that are upping the polyphenols and all the good antioxidants that are in these plants passes on to us so just like grapes uh, grapes are harvested for wine after a dry session because that um, enhances the bricks or the sugar content in that wine um, so they're stressed by a, a period of dry and that is passed on 
into the wine. So that's the same as here. So that's what I wanted to talk to about today. So there's a new word for you if you haven't heard it before, hormesis and xenohormesis, which is the transfer between species of that um, stress response. And what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So uh, like this, uh, if you wanna share this, subscribe, put your post notifications on, and until next time, keep growing your health.